In this video, we're going to work through a delta epsilon proof for a linear function. In the problem, we see limit as x approaches 2 of 3x plus 1 equals 7. First of all, let's recall what it is we want to show. According to the definition, we want to show that if we're given an arbitrary epsilon greater than 0, then we should be able to find, based on that epsilon, a delta greater than 0 such that if 0 is less than the absolute value of x minus 2, which is also less than delta, then it should follow from that assumption that the absolute value of f of x, which is 3x plus 1, minus the number we're trying to prove the limit, which is 7, should be less than epsilon. So let's do a little scratch work. Let's work on that f of x minus l, so the 3x plus 1 minus 7, which we see simplifies to absolute value of 3x minus 6, which we see also factors as a positive 3 times a factor of absolute value x minus 2. Now, we know that when we write the proof eventually, we will be assuming that the absolute value of x minus 2 is less than delta. We are trying to work backwards to figure out how small that delta needs to be. But once we find it, the proof we write will assume in the beginning that the absolute value of x minus 2 is less than that delta. So when we write the proof, 3 times absolute value of x minus 2 will be less than 3 delta. Now, we want absolute value of 3 max minus 6, which is absolute value of f of x minus 7, to be less than epsilon. So we really want this 3 delta to be epsilon. Well, that would mean that delta would need to be at least as small as epsilon over 3. So let's write our proof, because we found our delta. Given epsilon greater than 0, let's choose our delta to equal epsilon over 3. Now, let's assume that 0 is less than the absolute value of x minus 2, which is less than delta. That implies that the absolute value of 3x plus 1 minus 7 is equal to the absolute value of 3x minus 6 is equal to 3 times the absolute value of x minus 2. And you'll notice in this line we're just replicating our scratch work from above, but this is the formal proof. Now, by our assumption in the line above, the absolute value of x minus 2 is less than delta. Therefore, at the last part of this line, when we have 3 times the absolute value of x minus 2, that will be less than 3 times delta. But we have chosen delta to equal epsilon over 3. So this is equal to 3 times epsilon over 3, which equals epsilon. So putting that all together, what do we have? We have that if we're given an arbitrary epsilon greater than 0, and we choose delta to equal epsilon over 3, then assuming that the absolute value of x minus 2 is less than delta leads to the conclusion that the absolute value of 3x plus 1 minus 7 is less than epsilon for any epsilon we choose. Therefore, by the delta epsilon definition for limits, we have just proven that the limit as x approaches 2 of 3x plus 1 equals 7.